What's up everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So today we're giving away some free hand-drawn elements pack. Absolutely free. This effect is popping up all over YouTube and social media, so we thought why not let everyone have it. The pack includes 27 elements that are simply drag and drop. There's no plugins needed, they'll work exactly just dragging them over on your timeline in Premiere. They feature 10 lower thirds, arrows, circles, and a bunch more. So take your videos to a new level. Oh, so what do they look like? Check this out. Okay, these are pretty easy to use. Just drag your footage on the timeline. Go get the elements, drag one over. We can see that it turns up as a black box here. So we need to change that. Go to effects controls and then change blend mode to screen. And now let's play it. And this plays as a pretty slow swipe. So if you're not happy with that, you can right click and do speed and duration. And just change this to whatever you want. We can put 250 in this case. And that makes it a lot faster. So now we can just double click on this as normal. Drag it to wherever you want it. Resize it. Whatever suits you. And the point here is to make sure you're towards the end of the swipe. Just so you see the size of it. You don't drag it too far off the screen. So resize it to whatever you want. This looks good. And now what we can do is add some text over the top. Just add your text to whatever you want it to say. Use a selection tool to resize it. We'll just slide this back. Let's see what this play is like now. That doesn't look too bad. Now it'll just fall off and uh, cut off. If you wanted to 
wipe off in the reverse direction, press Alt and drag on the element, right click again, go to speed and duration, and just select reverse speed. We can actually extend the text here. And let's take a look at when the wipe starts to wipe into the text and then do maybe a default dissolve away. We'll just adjust that a little bit. And now if we take a look at this, the text comes on and off and it wipes away. So pretty simple, easy to do. Let's get rid of this one. There's a lot more, there's 27 of them. So let's take a look at an arrow, for example. Same thing, change your blend mode to screen. This gets rid of the black bar. And what you see here is, as I drag the element over, it was on the timeline. Make sure that it's not clicked on the timeline. Make sure you clicked on the element or video track two. Then do the blend mode and the black will be gone in case that happens to you. Then you can just place the arrow wherever you want it. Again, do speed and duration. This changes to 300 or something. Just to make it faster, let's take a look at that. And that's pretty much it. So enjoy them, uh, play around with them, and be creative. And I'll see you on the next one.